Welcome, welcome. I'm playing a little uh, catch up here. I know I'm an hour behind, and because FS had an update, oh, I hate this. Hold on. Let's see. No, we don't want to go to the main menu, but we do want. I think it's assistance option. Um. What? User experience. Yeah, this is it right here. Uh, heads up display and cam off. Off. Maybe that'll do it. Yeah. That looks good. Alright. So where we last left off, we were at um Delta November Alpha Alpha, which is D N A A, right? Um Today we have two legs, both totaling about five to six hundred nautical miles. So they're not extremely long legs. Um sitting here thinking to myself uh, for our first leg leg 140 155 I'm sorry um, we're climbing at 39,000 feet carrying 14,919 pounds of fuel all right so we know 39,000 is in the box Let's see here. Let's request flight plan from Simbrief. And I'll play the uh, weather briefing for right now. Um, just give me a second, I will be right back. Standard weather briefing for Delta, November, Alpha, Alpha, 2, Foxtrot, Gulf, Sierra, Lima. No SIGMETs active for your route of flight. No AIRMETs active for your route of flight. Current weather conditions for your departure. Wind 2, 3, 0 at 5. Visibility 1, 0, 1000. Sky clear. Temperature 3, 1, QNH 1, 0, 1, 1 for the destination. Wind 2, 3, 1 at 5. Visibility 8,000, sky condition 1,900, scattered few clouds at 3,000 light, rain, thunderstorms in the vicinity, temperature 2, 5, QNH 1, 0, 1, 1 for your alternate, wind 2, 3, 0 at 5, visibility 1, 0, 1000, sky clear, temperature 3, 1, QNH 1, 0, 1, 1, forecast conditions for your departure, wind 2, 3, 0 at 5, visibility 1, 0, 1000, sky clear, Temperature 3, 1, QNH, 1, 0, 1, 1, for the destination. At your estimated arrival time, wind 2, 3, 1, at 5. Visibility, 8,000. Sky condition, 1,900. Scattered few clouds at 3,000 light. Rain, thunderstorms in the vicinity. Temperature 2, 5. QNH, 1, 0, 1, 1, for your alternate. At your estimated had them play about twice at least. Um, bear with me, I need to get this camera back on, right? Mm, there we go. Alright, so... We got the weather briefing. It wasn't entirely too bad, right? Can I do it fast? Of course. I'll just have to do it instantly. And just wait for the, um... Make sure these thrust levers are in idle. Okay. Let me hit that APU. And we got three minutes to alignment? Alright. Alright. 
So the weather here, 2305. All right. 2305, and we're planning runway 22. Put the flight plan in the chat. Okay. Let's clear all that. Let's see what lovely message we have. It's probably this. I don't know why we got three load sheets here all at the same time. Interesting. All right. APU bleed on, it's time crew supply on too. External power disconnected. Let's go ahead and hit that. Chocks and cones can go too. Beacon on for now. I'll go ahead and request for the pushback, but I'll wait. All right. No. Flight plan, we're departing, leaving on 22 because of the winds, no SID. And supposed to arrive on four. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. And the R and Av into four. Let me just double check. Is it saying four? Because the winds are variable. I remember hearing something about thunderstorms. Um. Yeah, it's thunderstorms, and the weather is about the same. Just thunderstorms. Departure checks completed. All right, so Bypass pin maybe inserted. we should plan for it's five knots. I mean, we can do a five knot tailwind with no problem. So okay, we got one minute on the IRS being aligned. We can do tail to the right. Release parking brakes, please. Alright, we are aligned, so brakes released. Commencing push. All engines clear. Alright, few pumps on. Forgot to uncage my artificial horizon with a standby one. Alright, um. TCAS into auto and back down to here. Let's clear that discount and let's clear that discount. Okay. Let's get our weights. 97, 26.8 26.8, fuel is 13, 49 Alright, let's commence starting number 2 Okay, whoa, I hit the wrong button Alright, while we wait on that We are taking off 22, but packs are going to be on and flaps 2. Weather sync, calculate, send to CDU. Alright, up 5, we're good. Brakes are set. Good start on one, two. Starting number one. And in 
the meantime, charts. Good old charts. Uh, so for departure field. Alright, so we got 11,800 feet of runway to fool with. Elevations 1,100 feet above sea level, so it should be easy. No brainer. Let's go for the arrival and the approach we're doing in. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. R nav into four. Left is clear. Right is clear. Right. And then the ground charts. Hold on. No, that's the wrong. I'm tripping. We're doing a RNAV into forward, which is correct. And then we just need the airport charts. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Hold on. Oh, I hate this sim when it doesn't update because it does stupid stuff. I don't want any points of interest on. How about that? What is that? I don't need assistance. You know what? I'm just going to go through this one time and just turn everything off because um, user experience. AI piloting cursor mode. I don't even understand what that is. ATC enforced flight plan. I, I don't know why all this stuff got turned on. Assisted checklist off. AI. What? Uh, navigation. Taxi ribbon. Don't need any of that stuff. Crash damage. What? And gyro drift on, yeah. Alright, sorry about that. Hopefully, I don't. I don't know why engine. Did I forget a fuel pump? Oh, I did, okay. Alright, so engines are started, APU bleed off, APU master off, uh, on the spoilers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, blink, alright, flaps 2, auto brake max, alright. Positive control on the stick. All right, so we're taxiing the two two. Should be, be a right turn. Skipping there. All right. Okay, let's check this out here. So then we make a right on the Alpha and taxi all the way down to two two. The no two as well. Take off config. All right. We 
basically have a straightaway taxi from this point on. Straight down, left turn. Nice stable taxi going. Let's see something here. You know, I just realized his auto FPS came on. How many frames is it holding? Like 40? I promise I could probably turn it off and get better. I just don't know how to set the settings on it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn auto FPS off. And I need to ask somebody who's used it for a while. What settings I should have on it because. Like I just turned it off. I was getting 40 with it on. Wow, it actually was giving me better. I'm getting like 30 now. Interesting. So let's try something now. Try something now. Tips. How do you turn that off? Because that wasn't a thing before either. Hold on, let's just do that now because that's going to get annoying. Um, general, no, it wouldn't be in general option. Assistance up. It's like cockpit tool tips almost. Um, let's turn that off too because I don't want it to end flight. Piloting. Mm. Notification. Yeah, there we go. Both of y'all could go off. Technically, this runway is so long, I could do an intersection takeoff and be fine. But I'll continue to taxi out. When I get to, uh... Cruise... I'll shoot a message. What is I'll shoot a message to see um weird. I'm getting eighteen point nine on one engine, nineteen on the other, which shouldn't be a problem, but I don't think I've ever seen that before right now. They're both 19. Oh, yeah, the, the left one did have reverse on for a little bit for some reason when I went to uh, the options menu. All right, but we are ready to go, so I'm not going to delay the departure any more than I need to. Let's... 
gosh, it just wants to send me into the side, didn't it? The landing light's on. We're T-A-R-A, entire overhead looks good. Flaps are two, yep, we are good. Take off. Speed brakes and taxi light off. Climb thrust. Alright, let me shoot that message now. Really quick. Let's see if I can get some kind of clarity into. Discord VC. Um, let's try this. Not as easy as I thought it'd be, huh? Coming through 10,000. easier.
message sent. So hopefully sometime today or tomorrow. Um, I'll have all that sorted out. I also... Um, miss Sunday stream, so I'll probably be on again tomorrow, next two days for sure, to catch up. Sixteen five for thirty nine. Yeah, we're going up pretty high. We got about fifty minutes left. So I really don't have much time left on this flight. 50 minutes, only 361 miles to go. Um, thinking about this projected thunderstorms that we gotta deal with. What is this thing doing? 2, 3, there are 5. So yeah, we're gonna have a tailwind. 8,000 meters, what's that like? Did you say that was like four miles? I can't remember. And scattered at 800. And cumulon in this clouds at 2,000, broken at 4,000. So there's like three layers of clouds. Oh, so this should be really interesting. Alexa. Convert 8,000 meters to nautical miles. 8,000 meters is nautical miles. Yes, four miles. A good uh, guess from my memory. About four miles visibility. If you look out there into the horizon, that auto FPS blurred the hell out of everything. See, this is why part of me is like, eh. Right now, we're the same. Well, maybe, let's see. I got it targeted at 60. Let's target it to 35. And see how it does there. It's actually jumping from 30 to 40. For what?
What the hell? All right. Let's see what I can figure out here. Um, probably brief that R nav here too in a little bit. Let's take a look at that chart. Alright, so looking at Fox, Golf, Sierra, Lima, Malibu. Pull up the chart. It's Equatorial Guinea, Malibu. Alright. Elevation here is 76 feet, so we're pretty close to sea level. We are landing four, which has no lights at all. This should be fun. And when they're coming, but wait a second, it would be easier because we're coming from the from the north, right? It would be easier to go into 22. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, let's just do 22. I'm gonna call an audible here. We can do an ILS into 22, no star, and that should make it a lot easier in here. And straight into 22, left turn at Bravo or Charlie 1, or Delta, this is probably going to be Charlie 1. It, uh, we might be able to make Bravo, let's shoot for Bravo. And then Charlie one could be our uh, secondary, just in case the uh, plane doesn't stop in time. Right, so let's go back to all our charts. We need the approach chart. For ILS via Ampus. Yeah, we are taking Ampus. All right, so. Hold off on briefing that till we get a little bit closer. We're at 29.5 now for 39. Thing when I turn off streamer mode, the sounds came back on. Oops. All right, turned it right back on. I don't need all these sounds. My Discord be jumping. This real life flight sim track is not on. But it is now. I tell you what, for being an empty plane, this is one of the slowest climbs I've ever experienced. Saying the temperature is trying 
sure temperature is positive too. Oh, that might be the reason why. Positive two at 32,000 feet. <laughs> it's a little warm. It's a little warm for Pierre. I mean, granted, it's not really warm, but. Maybe it, it being that warm plus the thinness of the air. that this guy because I don't see it wait is it this one I thought I uninstalled FS2 crew yeah, I mean it ain't even showing up there so I don't know Very interesting. Let's see.
down the street in my So we've reached cruise altitude. Basically, and we are 100 or 220 um, miles out. It's crazy. I mean, that's absolutely nuts. Current version is zero zero five.
see. I'm already getting the ILS prompt. Should be pretty freaking easy here. Four miles of visibility. It's nothing. Destination data. Alright, so let's get it. The weather updated. Alright, quick refresh. Alright, so winds are 300 at 4 now. 8,000 meters of visibility, thunderstorms, scattered at 800. It's not raining. Hmm. Alright, so three, three, four. Temperature is 25, 10, 11. Human nature, let's brief this approach. Alright, so we got the ILS from way 2-2. Two, two into Malibu, Equatorial, Guinea. All right, frequency is 109.7, final approach course 224. Now uh, we intercept the glide slope at 11, 1120 feet. Uh, that's three miles from the MBL VRR. Airport elevation is 76, but the runway is 41. Alright, our decision height is 260, DA 301. Let's go ahead and throw 260 in there. Alright, for missed approach, we're climbing on radio 224 then BO to. 2 2 oh, sorry, radio 224 from MBO to 1800, then turn right, climbing 2500 feet, and follow radio 029 from MBO to rejoin Ampus. Alright, so that's pretty, pretty simple. Pretty freaking simple. And you know what? I take that back. That 1120 is three miles from MBO, but we're intercepting at 1800. This one's a little different than I'm used to. The um, ILS. Glide slope angle is 3 degrees, and we have pappies and high intensity runway lights. This is a little different. So we know that the 1800 transition altitude is 3200. Coming up to that motherfucker MS. Mm, 21 miles to MS. About 
45 miles from TOD. All right, so we got 120 miles to go. TUV and it seems to be like 40 miles. And we got some thunderstorms. Someone watch another way I flooded out. Hey. Uh oh. I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen.
go down to 1800. Okay. Accelerate. Let's arm our spoilers. T cast it below. Got some mountains. Let's turn on the terrain. Let's get an idea. We're landing right alongside of one. Coming down into the first layer here. But you know what? With the updated weather, it says something different. There wasn't three layers of clouds anymore. It was more like two. Um, we had a, a few at few 2000 and scattered at 800. See what we can come up with.
20,000. Got hella cloudy. Here goes the lightning. What did we say the temperature was again? Uh, twenty-five degrees. Okay. safe there's one more mountain that we're coming by to our left right now As you can see off to the left there by that a pillar oh there it is right there yeah and then there should be another mountain actually alongside the airport to the left which I I don't think it's the one that we see off. That wind is crazy. It can't be the one out in the distance. Let's see. Maybe it didn't. Uh, that seemed too far out, but. Coming through 10,000 feet. Lights on. It's on at 250 knots.
heading direct to Ampus now, which is 12 miles from the MBO VOR. And if I remember, the MBO VOR is like, it's not on the airport, but it's right in front of the runway. Yeah, it's right in front of the runway. I don't even know how far off in front it is, but. Drag. Are we over water or land? It's got to be water. There's no way that's land. things back in. Free arm them. There we go. Coming through 5,900 for 1,800 feet. Let's start to repair this thing. We're 19 miles out from uh, MBO. Does that glide slope hold on? Take me. Ah, oh, yeah, we're not doing the r no anymore. That's the ILS. Oh, so by the time we get to the VOR, we gotta go around. If we don't see lights. Or the runway. Alright, so we got the glide slope and the localizer. Miles out. Where are we parking? Alright, slowing to green dot. Oh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'll go ahead and start the AP now. Alright, localizer's active. I'll hit the localizer button. Hit a transition altitude. Coming through 3200. Alright. Glide slope is active now too. Let's slow to... Slow down. Can't see a damn thing. These clouds ain't no hole. All right, two hundred knots, Fox two. Nine miles geared down. All right, flaps three, flaps four. All right, we can see land in front of us, so that's a good thing. We won't be going down the minimums for sure. Two from MB 
video. This is where we're supposed to be in something. Right, so that, but we're already on it. So, so good. Let's continue. Let's rock and roll. Gentlemen, welcome to Guinea. All right, landing lights off. Taxi light to taxi. This song spoilers. T cast off and back to above. turn here. All right. 
right. We got 9,400 pounds of fuel. Well, technically, we don't need to park. Our next leg is only like a hundred and some odd miles. Hold on. Yeah, we're not gonna park. We're not gonna park. We're just gonna. I just updated the. The flight information there. The only thing is, the airport was not in the database. So I'm gonna have to um, fly to the closest airport and then go from there. So yeah, we'll just continue taxi on, on down to the end and then take back off. Let's just get ready here. Um, we just have to reset the, the computer here. Okay. It's not going to let me do it. It's not. It's F. Taxi kind of fast here. So F G S L slash F K K Y. Is it in there? Nope. No, it's not. No texting and flying. I'll just stop here and then take care of this. So let's try uh, F G S L slash F G F G K S F K Y S. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. It says F G F K K Y. All right, F K Y S. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh man, F. F G. Come on, F. What the heck is this thing doing? S L slash. F K Y S. All right, so that took. All right, um, so we're climbing to twenty-one thousand feet. Dookie, appreciate the tier one. Thirteen months, man. You like family? Thirteen point six. 13.6, so 21,000. One, five, six. Yeah, it had been a little bit, right? I think it was actually like last December. I think it was December. Has it been? No, because you couldn't. It wasn't last December. It was December before that. I think. I can't remember. Who knows? What you got going on this evening? I appreciate you, though, brother. He says it's been a minute. Definitely, definitely. Uh... 
Oh, you finally got it working? So how you like that? 97, 27.1. Uh, okay. We got that locked in. I'm just gonna go with the, the grandfather numbers, the bread and butter. That can't go wrong. Oh shoot. Two slash UP zero point five. And I'll leave it on Toga. It's a little finicky but otherwise it's perk kinda shock. So do you have to do anything to the hardware, like download a new UI or something? Or can you just plug the MIG switch thing in and it work fine? You had to mod the console? Oh, okay. Unmodded? Oh, you unmodded it. So you put it back to its uh stock. That's cool, man. I might have to buy one of those. Cause that's awesome. So our first fix is DLA. Delta Lima Alpha. Then our second fix. Oh, so R984, the NLY. NLY, right? Shoot, NLY, because N. Nope, it's MLY. Oh, R984, duh. NLY. Insert. Oh, you never modded it. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It seems very, very, very. Convenient. All right, so we got Fox Kilo Yankee Sierra in here. That is not where we're going. We're going to Fox Kilo Kilo Yankee, but it's not in the database, so we get to Scud Run or something to figure it out. By the time we get to, to DLA, I think we should be fine, though. So let's just do that. Clear this one, and we're good to go. All right, lights on. Slow your roll, baby. Slow it down. Are you like Reaper and got two switches or you only have one? One thing I did not do is trim up five or uh, all right. Can tell what straight is. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, lined up with the dang side. Oh, look at this guy. Did I get you to come back? Only one, all right, dude. Part of me was like, get another switch because the light. But I have a light, but I'm like, I kind of like the light. Take off, man, Toga SRS, run the All of us cool.
speeding up crazy. We could probably do a crazy climb right here. Let's try it. Turning one at that. Plane don't like that. <laughs> Climb the rest. Plane does not like that autopilot. <laughs> oh, you have an OLED. Okay, yeah, you don't, you don't have a reason to transition over to. So what's good, pro? All right, why is this plane? Yep, I seen, I seen that. It's a overbearing urge that you can do better. Think about your boy KD. <laughs> the only reason I don't call him trash like I call Chris Paul trash is because he still be getting bucky. Still be getting buckets. He just can't win. He just can't win. Chris Paul will literally, literally lose by like five points and have 18 points and 12 assists. And not saying that that's bad, but at some point you just gotta take over the game and get them buckets, buddy. You could only be a true point guard for so long. At some point, somebody gonna have to take over. You the superstar on the team. That should be you. I think I noticed the week before last, but I haven't really watched the full game either. I just been kind of paying attention to. Uh, I don't know. The West is lopsided, heavy, and the East is kind of. You say when they wear off, you'd be feeling nauseous. Are they like meds for your uh, mental state or like meds for like being sick? Okay, well, I mean. 
my only other guess would be um, if you've been taking these meds for a long time or a decent amount of time. So you've been taking them for a while. Is that what you're saying to me? taking them for a while I was gonna say maybe you're just kind of dependent on them and then when they wear off you know you probably going through some kind of withdrawal or something but nah you shouldn't be here for one week I don't know maybe you just did you look at the um the what's it called again can't think straight what effects it would have on you? Uh, it has a word that begins with R. I just can't remember. Dang, what's that word I'm thinking of? I just can't think of it. That is wild. I really can't think of the word. Be like that sometimes, I guess. I right now I can't even think of a damn word, and it's getting on my damn nerves. It's like the after effects, but there's a word for there's a there is a, a word that they use. I just can't think of what it's called. Oh my gosh. Side effects? Yeah. Side effects. Is it side effects? They gotta be side effects. They gotta be side effects. Yeah, did you look at, at at the container and see what the side effects are? Yeah, that might be what it is. Lord, I can get that. I don't know what you got, bro. <laughs> I, I ain't got no PhD. All I'm saying is check your uh, your bottle and see what the side effects are. That might be one of the side effects that they know about already. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying.
uptown, baby. I was down, but they see him up now, baby. Head high, cause I'm holding up my crown, baby. Never told, even through the ups and downs, baby. And if I do say, it's a cup of brown, baby. All right. So we've been made to have to, I honestly wasn't paying attention. Uh, what is it saying that we got on time? Uh, 16 minutes? That ain't too bad. He's <laughs> a doctor trying to F me up. Uh, that might not be the case. I mean, if you got any questions, bro, they should be, always be open to you calling. That APU is still on. I probably could have left it on, to be honest. Because of the medication, or is it because you did something that you weren't supposed to do? All right, I gotta figure out where this airport is because I know it's close by. But outside of that. Oh yeah, they right next to each other. You can't really mess that up. You got weather for this one? No. Right. So we know the elevation is 2,445 feet. And it's kind of high up. Uh, 6,528 foot runway on the Tunis. It's like concrete. Airport that we're tracking though. Same winds 2805. Alright, so my educated guess we should probably land on 21. They sit you back, bro. Well, at least it's only a week. What adjustments can you make? Yeah, or if they really mess you up that bad, let your doctor know, like, hey, this ain't gonna work. It's throwing me off my A game. 
probably find you something else. I'm sure. Because it spells no sense in taking something that's not working for you. Okay, it's basically the same. No significant remarks shared by duplicate station, which is FKYS. Alright. This is called the relationship turmoil. There's a no go, buddy. You better go talk to your doctor. Landing on 2 1 seems to be the best bet because the wind's going to be 2805. Um, same 4 mile visibility, you just got a few at a thousand this time, which is nothing. I probably might just do a, uh, a visual and call it a day. One thing I do need to remember is the airport river. 3,000, 6,500, no, 2,445 feet, so pattern altitude I'll probably want to go for is more like a four or 5,000 foot, and then um, we'll go from there, yeah, so. What we could probably do is how far is NLI and how far are these two? That'll be more of a terminal factor. Are they like five? Let's see, it's like ten miles. They're less than ten miles from each other. Hmm. Part of me doesn't wanna what's it say uh two three four Alright so zero three So I'll go down to about five thousand and then when I get Just left of the, the field, I'll turn zero zero three. We should be able to find that. With no issue. So let's also try this here.
So when we get seven miles from NOI, I'm gonna say seven miles. We need to go down now. Um, let me try. I got you. I got you. So let me hit the sleeper. I was saying we sleep in my underwear. I feel like most guidance do anyway, bro. Either that or shorts. Set it to five thousand. Why is it giving me seventeen seven? Interesting. Seven miles from NLI. So what I'll do here as well is Seven miles. Why does it keep adjusting itself like this? Very good question. So now it's at 15.7, like it's stepping me down. But why? Let me see constraints. There ain't no constraints. at 14.7 that is weird hmm that is very weird maybe because I don't have the destination airport actually very pretty Sleep at 11 a.m. so you don't go to, to bed at night. Oh, this is actually kind of beautiful. It's kind of like an oasis. It's nice and green. What's up with that water right there? Is that water? Or is it? It ain't showing water in front of me. So I don't know what that is. Interesting. 11 p.m. I mean, that's about the time I'll be going to sleep. Unless my girl got me on the phone. I ain't even gonna hold you. By 9 o'clock, usually I'm tired anyway, so. like that because it's just not loaded in. So I should be sleeping at 9 p.m. What time do you wake up? Let's see, what are we, 20 miles now? Let's see what 20 miles look like. I said 7 miles before we make that turn to 0, 3, 0.
11 to 5? That's not that bad, bro. 11 to 12, 12 to 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4 to 5. I mean, that's six hours. Do you sleep long? I'm used to getting four to five hours of sleep. So if I go to bed at 11 and be up at 5, I'm good off that. It's just about the amount of sleep I need. If you want in eight hours, well, you might have to force yourself at nine. Shoot, it's nine now. <laughs> you lay it down, and even if you ain't sleeping, at least be in bed. Because once you lay down, and your mind starts to, uh, what I'm looking for. It starts to relax. I would think you should be able to fall asleep. It has to be like seven more miles before we make this town. Seven miles. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Use tape melatonin. Whoop, did that work? I don't have no problems fall asleep. I could fall asleep right now. Hey, Dane, appreciate the raid. We're about to land uh, at some uh, interesting airport. Uh, where are we at? That's a better question. Uh, Cameroon. Thank you for the follow, QF. Appreciate it. I'm just trying to figure out if my uh, calculations are going to work out since this airport is not listed in the database. And there's transition altitude. I'm going to figure this out. Alright, so I'll say we're about 7 8 miles, right? So. Let's make our turn to zero zero three. What's zero three zero? Sorry. Let's see, zero zero three seems so way off. And that should put us on a right downwind for two one. Time. I mean, sometimes, man, it just depends. If I'm not playing with anybody, I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> it's not really a ghost airport. When I looked it up, it's supposed to be a um, a military air f airfield, and it's like one of the smaller ones. So the sim be having these airfields in them, but there's like no charts or anything for them because it's military. And I'm just following my flight plan. I don't make any modifications to it, you know. I found this list online, so that's what I've been doing. You should see the grass fields. Those are the interesting ones. Chartless here, but yeah. Like right now, we're not operating off any chart. Matter of fact, the field is right there. So my guess was pretty good. I had a natural flap. So plan this uh, visual approach here. It's going to turn out just a little bit. In fact, we can actually go flaps too. Appreciate the follow, Omega. Go a little wing dip so we can see what we're working with right there. The airport's there, it's just 
not listed. And there's usually always a bigger airport around. So, usually I'll just track myself to the bigger airport and then find the smaller one visually when this happens. Alright, so what's the rule when you're doing like a, um, a pattern in a uh, airliner? Oh, appreciate the sub, Dane. Big time appreciate it. 2,000. We're at 2,000 feet. Alright, let's start our turn. What could possibly go wrong, right? Did you thank you thank you this thing didn't tell me when people maybe it does not just miss it yeah it said it right there i appreciate the gifted dan you're a lucky guy so what we're gonna do is increase our airspeed by like 10. Swing back around to uh, two and zero. One thousand. Very long turn. Do not be looking out that side window. Terrain ahead. 500. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Right Terrain there. ahead. Pull up. So we're good. Four. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Since it doesn't know an airport's there, it's going to be giving me call outs. Four. So we'll just buzz everybody's house. 300. It's only doing that because it doesn't it doesn't know that an airport's there. Alright. Three hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. So you see you got a, a full fledged airport 100. here. Just no uh Information. 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, 10, 5. On, get down. First thrust, set. We might make this turn, actually. We will. There we go. That's how you take a extremely light Airbus into a uncharted field. <laughs> Stealth airport, exactly. Uh, it's like, come make your parking accommodations. Help yourself. Alright, all that's taken care of. Cool. Ah, thank you. What did it say it was? I'm just gonna pull in front of one of these hangars after I turn my APU on. Yeah, this is fine. At least they got cars and stuff. We 
should be good there. All right, brake set. We'll just wait for this. I'll turn off number two. <laughs> Unmarked cars, right. Services, uh, it's crazy having number one on with the stairs in front of it, right? Oh, you know what? I could actually just hit the GPU and just be done with it and call it a day. There we go. Alright, there goes number one, beacon off. Alright, so that's 156 in the books, uh, Uncharted Field. Wouldn't be the first time and probably not the last. 157 is going to take us to Fox Oscar Oscar Lima, which is literally Fool. Uh, Libreville, Leon, Maba International Airport. What the? And that's not even a long leg, so the leg after that is to Fox Papa Sierra Tango, Sao Tome International Airport. So I'll probably squeeze all of that into one and make it a thing. Uh, today's Monday, so that'll be Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? And I'll actually be on tomorrow, too, to do a uh, virtual airline flight. So, again, thank you for the subs, and thank you for following. I appreciate you guys, and hopefully I see you guys around. Catch you on the next turn. Have a good night.